Well, hello there. Is this your first time joining us? Well, if it is, you're in store for a real treat. And if you're not, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tired Old Queen at the Movies, starring the one and only Steve Hayes. If you'd like to become a fan on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, there'll be a link in the description. And now, let's go see the Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Let's see what he's got for us this week. I'm excited. How about you? Oh, hello there, Johnny. <laughs> Come on. Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Johnny, you know what I realized? I hadn't done a Western in a long time, and I hadn't done a movie with my favorite actress in it, Susan Hayward. So I combined the two, and I decided to, sh to talk about Henry Hathaway's Ride, starring Tyrone Power and my favorite actress, Susan Hayward. <laughs> Daryl F. Zanuck needed a new dramatic actress. Uh, because one thing that Fox didn't really have was a big, big star like MGM and Warner Brothers. So he took Susan Hayward on. And up until mm, the mid-50s, Susan Hayward was the big, big female star at Fox until Marilyn Monroe came along. <laughs> That's nice! <laughs> That's real nice! Zanuck realized really early that she was gorgeous and she was tough. And that he could put her into a lot of the big adventure movies that he couldn't necessarily put a lot of his other actresses into. And she could really hold her own. I'm going in the stagecoach and the baby's going with me. Stop her, Tom. Just try and stop me. Rawhide is a wonderful little, very, very tense thriller that happens to take place at an outpost uh, that a stagecoach comes in. It has a really stupid beginning. <laughs> It has this thing, uh, they sort of start it like a documentary about the jackass mail, the jackass mail. Yes, sir, that's it. The Overland Mail. Oh, it's one of the worst beginnings of any movie, and it's also at the ending. San Francisco to St. Louis in 25 days. 2,700 miles in 25 days and 25 nights. But get past that. When the weather and engines behave. Tyrone Power is learning the ropes at this one outpost with Edgar Buchanan. This is character actor and the stagecoach comes in and on the stagecoach is Susan Hayward who is taking her little infant niece uh, back east and Susan is really really tough it's tough to be born anywhere and she's really rough on Tyrone and it's, it was always interesting with with Tyrone because he was so pretty it's almost like Susan challenges him and uh, Susan always could do sexual antagonism really really well and like when they're sitting down to eat uh, they're talking about how bad the food the food is and she looks over at Tyrone Power and she goes mule boy over there seems to like it mule boy doesn't but she's always kind of needling him, you know. And at one point, he tells her she has to get off the train, and she goes, jibba, jibba. <laughs> she, she isn't going to take anything from anybody. Leave these things alone. This outpost is taken over by a band of escaped convicts, and it suddenly goes from being this kind of, you know, typical Western to this story of survival because these three guys are nasty. Hugh Marlowe, Jack Elam, who was this character actor who had a wandering eye and always played sort of sick and sardonic characters, and Dean Jagger, who had just won an Academy Award for 12 O'Clock High, is sort of the kind of the lopey, lumpy sort of guy. And they are going to rob the next stagecoach that comes in for the gold that they've heard that's going to be on it. And they lock Tyrone and Susan Hayward in this room in the back, and they're going to kill them. And they have been at each other's throats from the beginning, Tyrone and Susan, and suddenly they have to work together and try to save each other. And they're really rough on him. There's a scene when they beat, they just beat the daylights out of Tyrone Power. And there's another scene when Susan fights off one of the guys and, and he practically strangles her to death. And, and, I mean, they throw her around, you know, and, and Susan was never... Never uh, above taking hard hits. She would she would jump right into the heat of the action and you know and just make it really believable. She was the a terrific heroine because she wasn't content to let the leading man save her. She was right in there. This was just before Cinemascope came in, and when Cinemascope came in and they saw how she looked in color, they put her in all these kind of movies. And Fox would really wouldn't give her anything meaty or dramatic except for with a song in my heart. So she had to go outside the studio to get her nominations, which she did, and she won 
an Academy Award for I Want to Live, um, and died, unfortunately, early. She and John Wayne and Agnes Moorhead, and they all died in, um, from radiation poisoning because they filmed another big spectacle uh, called The Conqueror, uh, 50 miles from the Utah Salt Flats, out around the same area that this was shot. Um, this is action-packed. It's light but it's so much fun. And Tyrone really got to, you know, he really got to be manly and manly it up in this. He couldn't get by just out being pretty, which he didn't really. He really worked hard. He dry outside and wet inside. That's what a man does in this country. But Susan, you know, Susan was <laughs> kind of t twice the man he was in this movie, and he had to step up to the plate. That's more like it. Mind if I borrow this? Well, it looks as if you already have. And you're going to love it. Tyrone Power, Susan Hayward, in Henry Hathaway's suspense drama, Rawhide. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> I first saw this movie at Rawhide. <laughs> to get ourselves a treat.